Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So this time of the year, the areas that we really focus in on is the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Atlantic. So as you look out into the Eastern Atlantic, really a little too early in the season to expect to see anything developing out in this area. But we do have this one tropical wave, still fairly disorganized, uh, but it is going to continue to work its way to the west over the next several days, over the next week or so. And once it gets closer to the Caribbean, that is when we might actually start to see something happening with this. So it's still a very disorganized system. Conditions right now just are not favorable, just simply because of the water temperatures, just kind of right on the edge of being warm enough. But there's that idea that as we get into next week and this moves into an area where the water temperatures are warmer, that is when we might start to see some development with this. So as far as the wind shear is concerned, you can see that is not an issue. We actually have some pretty light wind shear across uh, all of the eastern and central Atlantic. You do see those stronger winds just to the north of this area. So as you look at the Fox model, here is the area that we're talking about off the coast of Africa. Now watch as we put this into uh, motion. Yeah, you're not really seeing much, but it, it kind of holds itself as just a moderate tropical wave working its way on toward the uh, west over the next uh, four to five days. And there you see it still in place, still holding together. So if it can continue to at least maintain itself, through the weekend and into the early part of next week as it starts to work its way further and further to the west. It starts to move into this region where we might start to see some development with it. So kind of think of it as a, a big long heads up that we might actually have something to talk about. Of course, we will keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.